Hello everyone, welcome to the monthly climate review for February 2020 from the National Weather Service office in Missoula, Montana. February highlights, we had a strong wind event February 1st, a heavy snow event February 5th through 7th, uh, some intense snow across west central Montana February 20th, and record snow in Dixie, Idaho this month. And we'll talk about that in a little bit more detail as we go on in this PowerPoint. Some uh, notable February statistics in Salmon, Idaho. This was their second coldest February on record, and their records go back to 1967. It was also their snowiest February on record, with about 15.5 inches of snow. Another notable uh, statistic. Uh, record high temperatures occurred February 1st across western Montana. In fact, Missoula, Montana got up to 60 degrees on the 1st. This was the second earliest uh, 60 degrees had been reached uh, at Missoula and dating back to 1893. Uh, it did occur once. Uh, the earliest it occurred was on January 1st. Kalispell got up to 53 and Butte up to 55, which is their second warmest on record on the 1st. Something of note I found interesting was that Missoula has not recorded a zero degree day this entire winter season thus far. Um, it's only done that two other times dating back to 1948 at the Missoula airport. That was in 1957 and 58 in the winter of 66 and 67. Looking at our extended forecast, this is probably going to hold up. Some other notable weather. Um, for the season, December through February, which is the heart of winter, uh, we had a very warm winter across western Montana. Average temperatures in Missoula were 30.4 degrees, and the record was 31.7 in 1966 and 67. And Kalispell was their third warmest December through February on record, as in Butte, it was their 10th warmest. So February across the west, here on the left is uh, precipitation. You can see I've outlined in circle here uh, areas which had uh, uh, considerable above normal precipitation, um, especially snowfall in the mountains. And in California, they had uh, little if any precipitation during the month of uh, February. Average temperature across uh, the Rocky Mountain states was much cooler than normal. Uh, from uh, Colorado, Wyoming, and through uh, a part of our county warning area in Limhi County. Snow uh, water equivalent or in snowpack and across the uh, mountains of western Montana and central Idaho are right above normal or slightly above normal uh, through uh, March 1st. Okay, a few graphs here for temperatures. The average temperature on the left for western Montana was generally above normal at Kalispell and near normal in Missoula and Butte. Uh, as noted earlier, salmon had their second coldest uh, month on record at 7.6 degrees below normal. Precipitation in western Montana. We had about an inch of, inch of precip in Missoula, which is about a half an inch greater than normal and near normal precipitation in Kalispell and Butte. As we look at the percentages from normal, he said 150% of normal in Missoula. Um, not so much in Kalispell, it was actually 50% uh, of normal and Butte was near normal. And once again in Salmon, precipitation was 200% uh, of normal. Snowfall. Across western Montana, we had 12.9 inches in Missoula. Uh, below normal snow in Kalispell, 6.8 inches. And then, as mentioned earlier, salmon with 17 inches of snow, which is well above normal. Their snowiest February in record. And departure from normal, again, Missoula was double or 200% of normal. And look at this, 451% of normal in salmon. And again, their snowiest February on record. 
some highlights, uh, some actual, some of our weather systems that we had uh, on February 1st and 2nd. Um, we had a really big uh, wind event. Uh, this is a picture of some downed trees near Marias Pass. There are also a lot of large trees blown down across much of our county warning area, including the Missoula and Bitterroot uh, valleys. Um, widespread power outages across many areas and uh, uh, ski lifts across the whole region had to close. Here's kind of a, a, a look at our greatest wind gust reports that we had across the region. 75 miles per hour, five miles southeast of Stevensville. We had 99 mile an hour winds at 0.6, which is 7,800 feet, but we also had reports of 90 mile an hour winds on the top of uh, Mount Sentinel, just outside of Missoula. But here you can see widespread wind gusts in the 50s uh, across much of our county warning area, mainly in uh, western Montana. We had a winter storm February 5th through 7th, which was mainly widespread moderate to heavy snow. And uh, most of the heavy snow occurred from um, uh, the southern Bitterroot across southwest Montana here. And then down into the Salmon area, uh, Limhi County, and Dixie, Idaho. Dixie, Idaho had 30 inches of snow in a 24-hour period. And in fact, in a two-day period, they had 43.4 inches of snow, which uh, broke an all-time record in Dixie. Some more February highlights. There was an intense snow squall that moved through the Missoula area, the vicinity of Missoula on February 16th and 17th. Here on the left is a radar signature of that squall, which basically didn't move for quite a while and, and uh, dumped a lot of snow in a short period of time and caused uh, some travel impacts especially along US 93 and Highway Eric's in Interstate 90. On the right is our snowfall mounts that were reported from this storm, ranged anywhere from five inches down in Lolo to uh, some localized nine inches in the south side of Missoula and uh, seven or eight inches in uh, the Bonner area and uh, East Missoula. That's it for our February uh, highlights and climate. You can check this out on YouTube or follow us on Twitter at NWS Missoula and Facebook at NWS Missoula. I hope everyone has a good day.